Ten again for another Halloween trailer. This is what? the movie that has me scared shitless. Oh, it's going to be so easy to fuck this up. So far, I've not been pleased. Let's cross my fingers that this changes my opinion. Innocent teenagers. The thing that interests us about this story is after 40 years, could it be that one monster has created another? So, you don't believe in the boogeyman? Uh, no. You should. Mm. My grandmother turns into a nutcase this time of year. I mean, she is Lori Strode. It was almost a murder. Every day she lives in fear that he's coming back. Michael, I have something you might like to see. Do you remember Laurie Strode? Dad, look out! Michael's escape. Run! for a long time. It is not safe for you to be on the street tonight. He was standing right there in the doorway. I pray night, every night that he would escape. Who the hell did you do that for? So I can kill him. Oh, behind you. Wait. Oh, no! Oh, got a in there. He's waited for this night. He was. I've waited, waited for him. He's here. I'm gonna go protect my family. Good luck with that. Get away! Happy Halloween, Michael. I forgot to mention that was the international trailer, which obviously we got some more scenes. Still kind of a rehash of the first one. Um, the only thing of note, new, I think, well, probably a couple days, but I appeared to be a rather fast movie, Michael Myers. I saw For that. me, anyways. For you too? I think that broke my heart. Ah, uh, that was not good. Oh my god. Uh, I think yeah. I'm gonna cry. Uh, uh, yeah, I just paused for concern. I mean, you know, it's the whole, I mean, I, yeah, again, I suppose in some ways it's going to fall to where you got your appreciation for the franchise. And this is obviously geared towards new people. That's why they're making it. Duh, they don't make a ton of money. But if you are established in the franchise, or even the slasher films from the 80s, or in the late 70s where this came out of, the whole concept was the glorified... Sylvester the Cat and Pepe the Pew, where, you know, the good guy or girl would haul ass, the evil bad person or lecherous skunk would walk or hop after him slowly, and they'd wind up at the same place at the same time. Mm -hmm. And it works great for me. I love it. It's, it doesn't make any sense. But then it adds to the horror. How do you get away from them? I've, I've run. I've, I've gotten in the car. I've driven away. Yeah. But they, they just always seem to be there. This, I think they're going to go with a quote, real approach, where he's, because he's just a guy, that's my other problem that I've had since day one, he's just a guy now. The guy's in prison, so he's just a human. He's no longer a supernatural force. I still don't understand why they released him, or uh, he probably escaped, but why they showed him the mask or something. That was my, my problem from day one. No correctional institution would allow that. No. No, it's ridiculous. But. They have to have some premise because they've made him human and they locked him up. You know, they could just have him come back because of something, you know, that would actually be creative writing. No, we'll just make him human and destroy the whole mythology. Uh, and then I guess that allows him to move fast because he is human. I don't know. Um, as I said, this has got me. Well, I mean, terrified. you saw that you saw the scene where I guess Laurie shot a gun at him. 
Well, in the she basement. she was it a gun? first she stabs him, throws him down the basement, has the gun pointed at him. I guess shoots him. But later there was a scene where she had the gun and was backing up. So, like, she couldn't kill him? I don't know. Well, you saw him set up, though. Right? Yeah, we saw him set up, so. which, you know, again. If he was human, depends on, could you know. Died. I, yeah. The question is, is, was that before or after the shot? Also, was that, like, she stabbed him and he fell downstairs? There's a lot of questions, obviously. We could go on and on and on. You guys are going to go on and on in the comment section, so let's start this going. All right, the last Halloween trailer comment section was spirited shall we say? And chock full of Bloomhouse fans who went off. So let's see if we can replicate that. Have at it, folks.